I mean, so the first thing you notice um, in Southeast Asia, as far as um, the unbanked, is how many of them there are. Uh, so if you look across Southeast Asia, um, less than 40% of the population has access to traditional banking, uh, and less than 5% have access to credit cards. Uh, in our market, in the Philippines, uh, numbers are actually even lower. So 25% of the population has access to traditional banking, 3% have access to credit cards. And the reason that is important is because those people who don't have access to traditional banking, they still consume financial services. As an example, um, Philippines receives about $24.7 billion a year in remittances. Uh, these are usually funds that are transfer, transferred in by overseas foreign workers. Um, and if you don't have a bank account and you're recipient of these funds, you pay an average of 9% um, fees just to collect the money. Now, I actually think, like to think about it in, in work days. So if you're getting sent $100 by your relative in Canada or the US that's working hard, sending it to you in the Philippines, you're paying about four days worth of labor to pick up the money. Um, likewise, if you wanted to take out a loan um, or if you wanted to invest your money, those uh, those products are either not available to you at all or if they are, they're, they're um, very costly. The first thing you'll know if you're a Filipino and you're going to open up a bank account is you need to give a deposit. The average deposit is 10,000 pesos. Uh, the average uh, wage uh, is around 4,000 pesos. And obviously if you're making 4,000 pesos, it's around $100 a month, you have no spare money to hold in a deposit. The reason the bank is holding is asking for this deposit, um, well, they can't make money on someone who doesn't have any savings, right? So they have uh, real estate, um, right, a store to, uh, a storefront to, uh, to uh, pay for, they have tellers, uh, trucks, armored cars, all those things cost money. The minute that, that uh, one of these people walks into the bench, they already lost money. What we're doing is we're um, reducing those costs by providing mobile banking. So now the cost of banking a person is as cheap as downloading uh, WhatsApp or Facebook, an application, right? Um, so we're really changing the game. We're a technology layer between the banks to serve those people that they cannot serve today in a cost-effective way. Um, we see in five to 10 years basically the market shifting towards uh, lower cost banking solutions that are inclusive to everyone.